welcome to this edition of Planet Earth Weekly News. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, something that is happening in the Gulf near Yemen. Maybe it's old news. Maybe it's new news. But I haven't heard about this too too much, too many times. So I'm gonna. Uh, read to you a report that have prepared the Prime Minister of Putin Admiral Maximov so uh, we're gonna talk about some type of portal or vortex that is creating a global catastrophe weather catastrophe so I I Think this is very interesting and I'm gonna read the complete report to you people so you follow this because maybe we are uh, near something very strange unknown and big for the whole earth okay mysterious vortex warnet is creating global weather catastrophe a bizarre report prepared for Prime Minister Putin by Admiral Maximov of Russia's Northern Fleet states that a mysterious magnetic vortex currently centered in the Gulf of Aden has defied all the combined efforts of Russia, the United States and China to shut it down or even to ascertain its exact origin or cause for behind. The Gulf of Eden is one of the most vital waterways in the world located in the Arabian Sea between Yemen on the south coast of the Arabian Peninsula and Somalia in the Horn of Africa that sees over 21,000 ships sailing through its water each day. According to this report, US scientists began noticing the formation of this vortex in late 2000 after which the American established a base of operation on the Horn of Africa, in Djibouti, the capital and largest city of the Republic of Djibouti. After the 9-11 attacks on America, Djibouti then became the home of the combined Joint Task Force, Horn of Africa, with Joint Task Force of United States Africa Command. After re remaining relatively stable since its discovery in November 2000, this report continues. The Gulf of Aden vortex began to expand in late 2008, prompting the United States to issue an extraordinary warning to the entire world about this mysterious occurrence and which is response the following nation rushed their naval force to this area. Royal Australian Navy Belgian Navy, Bulgarian Navy, Canadian Navy, People's Liberation Navy, China, Royal Danish Navy, French Navy, German Navy, Greek Navy, Indian Navy, Islamic Republic of Iran Navy, Italian Navy, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, Republic of Korea, South Korea Navy, Royal Malaysian Navy, Royal Netherlands Navy, Pakistan Navy, Portuguese Navy, Royal Saudi Navy, Russian Navy, Republic of Singapore Navy, Spanish Navy, Swedish Navy, Royal Thai Navy, Turkish Navy, British Royal Navy, and the United States Navy. Using the pretext that these naval forces were needed to protect the Gulf of Aden from Somali pirates, who are actually nothing more than likely armed youngsters looking for food since this mysterious vortex has destroyed their fishing waters. Admiral Maximov states in the re this report that this will top. Build up is the largest of its kind in human history, and that Russia is prepared to join with the American to defeat what many world officials believe is an attack upon our planet by force previously unknown, but described as possibly being interdimensional or extraterrestrial. Beginning early last month, this report continues. The Gulf of Aden vortex began an extraordinary series of expansion, 
that for the first time since its discovery were preceded by earthquake activity. Important to note are that estimated 40 to 60 earthquakes occurring in the Gulf of Aden this past month are also the first to have occurred in this region in all of modern recorded history. This report further states that all of these earthquakes have ranged between 4.5 and 5.4 on the rich scale and almost are all on around 10 km deep and are strangely linked in timing to the mysterious reappearance of the planet Jupiter salt equatorial belt strike that disappeared this past May. Talk the information contained in this report is being blacklisted among all of the world mainstream media. The same cannot be said of alternative news sites, some of which have speculated that the Gulf of Aden vortex may very well be a stargate opening up into our world from a dimension and our world we know we know nothing about. On such side, the truth behind the scenes for the notes, another remarkable coincidence or rather synchronicity is that this series of earthquakes in the Stargate fell on the very day on which the webbots and Time Wave Zero both show it a tipping point indicated. Another such site, Danwe from China, states that the Stargate hypothesis that internet users have recently have been concerned with news about the Gulf of Aden Stargate. Rumors claim that as early as December 9, 2009, a spiral of blue light, like a computer-generated image, suddenly appeared in the sky over northern Norway. About a month after the spiral disappeared, a massive magnetic field that appeared in the Gulf of Aden opened up a wormhole or stargate. The rumors say that the multinational military escort in the Gulf of Aden, ostensibly, there to fight Somali pirates, is actually working to explore the Stargate and distant galaxies a million light years away. Professor Wang Xixiao of the Purple Mountain Astronomical Observatory, an authority on UFO research in China, said of the phenomenon, the Stargate theory is not credible, it has no basis in astronomy or the facts. To what the truth is what lies behind the, this mysterious ghost of Adam Borte is, is not in all knowing, other than to point out Armidal Maximov warning in his report that since these earthquakes have become our planet northern hemisphere, jet stream has nearly collapsed, plunging past regions of the world into weather chaos as we as and as we can read. In Britain today their bus transportation system has grown to halt due to unprecedented snow and cold. Likewise, in Germany, where travel chaos has ensued due to the abnormal snow and cold, Sweden is reporting the coldest temperature it has experienced in over 100 years as China is rushing to rescue dozens of herdsmen trapped by their worst snowfall in 30 years and is further reporting the death of over 70,000 farm animals due to snow and cold. The United States has also reported one of the most massive storm systems in its history that for the past few days has planked nearly its entire landmass with unprecedented amount of rain. To the greatest fear of the United States and other world nations, Regarding this mysterious Gulf of Aden vortex, Admiral Maximov reports surmises is the public having knowledge of it due to a website named Wikileaks, having in its possession nearly all of the secret diplomatic cables which it is threatening to release, and should it do so, will undoubtedly so panic through the globe. So dangerous has weekly founder Julie Hassan become that Interpol has issued a red notice arrest warrant for his immediate capture in order to prevent him from releasing the entire U.S. Gulf of Aden vortex file he currently has in his possession. And China has taken the extraordinary step of launching against his website the most powerful cyber attack ever witnessed from a government against a private website. 
to what is contained in the United States secret Gulf of Aden Vortex file. Wikileaks has it in possession and is threatening to release it is not in all knowing. What is in all knowing though is what the ancient had to say about the Gulf of Aden Vortex, but which they described as the Eye of Ra, Aka, Eye of Horus, that was personified in the ancient Egyptian goddess Wadjet, a first goddess depicted as a lioness warrior and protector, and as a, the sun goddess whose eyes later became the eyes of Horus, the eyes of Ra, and is also known as the Lady of Flame. According to these ancient legends, should all human race ever threaten to destroy the earth, Wadjet will, will return in righteous wrath. And right tails right through the vortex of eye of Ra to do bait battle with those who are defying the gods and their plan for humankind. Not known to most people about this most powerful and feared ancient Egyptian goddess, Wajit, is that humanity's oldest recorded religious celebration was held in her honor and called the going for of Wajet, celebrating for thousands of years, under too many different names and religions incarnation to come, on December 25, but call it in today's World Christmas. So as we near another Christmas time in war, yet again, gone mad with war and the loss of for death as the humanists struggle under the tyrannical joke of its elites master enslaving them more and more as each day passes and, and as too many signs to mention in one sitting begin, begin to appear around us. One can wonder about what's next to come. So this is very interesting article uh, about the Gulf of Aden Vortex. We need to keep uh, looking at this. Uh, Keep looking at the news about this situation going there. This recent news is a December 3 report, and it says that WikiLeaks have some diplomatic cable about this. Um, if they release, there will be war panic. I mean, war panic. So maybe the information they have is very, very uh, uh, bad, or maybe put us in danger and they know what's going on, what is coming on and it's not good to release them so I think uh, weekly we'll be releasing more and more info in the upcoming months and this is one of the infos that I want to read also with the UFO disclosure or the cables that they have the Gulf of Adam Vortex coming soon so stay Stay looking for news. Take care, people, and have a good night. See ya.